Hey guys, it's Critter Girl here, and this is a new type of video that I kind of got inspired to try today. Um, sitting at school, I thought, hey, this would be fun. So, I think I'm going to start doing every now and then some little, I am a Christian, some of you may know that, so I thought that maybe it might be fun, and who knows, maybe I can help some people out by doing some little devotionals, um, Bible devotionals and Bible stories and stuff every now and then on my channel, so I thought you guys might enjoy that, and I'm really hoping that I am able to lead some people to Christ through this, so, you know, um, so basically what I'm going to do is just kind of read verses from my little Bible here and um, just kind of explain the best I can. I'm no expert, okay, but I do know enough to tell you guys about God and about all the amazing things that he has done for us and how to get saved yourself. So, so um, this is kind of an introduction, and I've got all my dinosaurs in the background. I thought that that would be a fitting background today because today I'm going to start talking about creation. Now, <laughs> first, this Bible. I just want to talk about this Bible for a second. It's pretty worn. It's, um, I will, I've had it since I was in third grade. My third grade teacher gifted this to me at the awards ceremony at the end of third grade long time ago and I have used it every year in school and in church ever since so you know um so this is a pretty special little bible to me and um she wrote a little note to me in there I'm not gonna read the whole thing it's long and I don't have too awful much time I don't want to make this so long it gets boring so but you know so today we're gonna start by talking about creation first video, it's only logical to start at the beginning, right? <laughs> so here, every Bible, pretty much everyone I've seen has a table of contents. And I'm sorry if this is mirrored for you. I really am not sure because I have my phone in selfie mode. So I'm not 100% sure how it looks for you guys, but hopefully you can see this. So this is the table of contents and you see all these? Those are all books of the Bible. In total, there are, oh my goodness, um, a lot. There are, a lot. <laughs> I'm sorry guys, I meant to count them first, um, but I've always been very bad at memorizing things, and in, when I was younger too, I would memorize the books of the Bible and everything, and I was never very good at that, so I'm not 100% sure how many there are, but there's a lot, and they're all full of awesome stuff that God has given us in his special word. So we're going to start with Genesis. That is the first book of the Bible. It is right here. It is the first thing you will find. And I'm going to read to you a little group of verses that have been special to me for a long time because they are the first verses I remember memorizing when I was little. When I did school with my mom, I was like in first, second grade, something like that. Uh, those are the first Bible verses that I remember memorizing, and I had a lot of fun learning these, and I really enjoy talking about creation and all that stuff. That's one of my favorite topics. Um, so I'm going to read a little bit of Genesis 1 to you. We're just going to kind of go over the days of creation. Hold on a second. It's a lot, but we're just going to go over at least some of Genesis 1, okay? So, Genesis 1, it starts like this. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. Now, um, a, lot of me, a lot of you have probably heard of evolution, and I'm sure you heard people talk about, like, like they find a fossil and they're saying, oh, it's millions of years old. Well, that's not true. <laughs> Sorry to tell you, um, that is simply not true. Um, how many of you have seen Jurassic Park, Jurassic World? all those, not criticizing those movies at all. I really enjoy watching them, and I understand if you do too. But there's a lot of false information about creation and dinosaurs, and I'm going to do a lesson solely about dinosaurs sometime soon, because um, there's a lot to say about them and the Bible. But um, there's a lot of false information in those movies. For instance, when um, Alan was explaining that um, dinosaurs evolved into birds. That is a very common belief 
today, and it is simply not true. Dinosaurs were reptiles, and birds are, well, birds. Um, and our Earth is only five to 6,000 years old. That is a true story. It's not millions of years, and I'm about to read to you how God created it. It didn't kind of form and... I mean, there are a ton of different theories on how the earth formed, but I'm about to read you the truth, okay? So, let's go ahead. Verse number two. And the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep, and the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. And God said, Let there be light, and there was light. And God saw the light, that it was good. And God divided the light from the darkness. And God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. And the evening and the morning were the first day. So God created the earth over a seven-day period. So on the first day, like I just read, he created light and dark. And he called them night and day. <laughs> so now we're going to move on to the second day. And God said, let there be a... Firmament. I apologize if I have trouble pronouncing some of these words. There are a few hard words in here. And God said, "Let there be a firmament in the midst of the waters, and let it divide the waters from the and let it divide the waters from the waters." That means let there be land to divide the water. And God made the firmament and divided the waters which were under the firmament from the waters which were above the firmament, and it was so. And God called the firmament heaven, and the evening and the morning were the second day. Oh, I'm sorry. I was incorrect about that. The firmament, he meant that is talking about how he created heaven. I thought that, I haven't read this in years. And God said, let the waters under the heaven be gathered together unto one place, and let the dry land appear, and it was so. So this is the third day where God started creating, like, the land, the continents, and everything like that. All the land that we're on today, he separated that from the water. And God called the dry land earth, and the gathering together of the waters he called the seas. And God saw that it was good. So, that's how we got our seas and our land. <laughs> And God said, Let the earth bring forth the grass and herb yielding seed and the fruit tree yielding fruit after his kind, whose seed is in itself upon the earth. And it was so. What that means is God just created all the plants and he said the fruit and the fruit tree yielding fruit after his kind. That means that like an apple tree is not going to grow oranges. A pear tree is not going to grow apples. That means the apple tree grows its apples. Orange tree grows, or grows oranges. And that's just talking about how, how he created all the trees and the bushes to grow fruit, flowers, seeds, whatever, that were of their own kind. So, I found my place here. And the earth brought forth grass and herb yielding seed after his kind, and the tree yielding fruit, whose seed was in itself after his kind, and God saw that it was good. And the evening and the morning were the third day. And God said, Let there be lights in the firmament of the heaven to divide the day from the night, and let them be for signs, and for seasons, and for days, and for years. And let them be for lights in the firmament of the heaven to give the light upon the earth, and it was so. Those are stars, I believe, the stars and planets. And God made two great lights, the greater light to rule the day and the lesser night to rule the night. He made the stars also. That's the greater day, greater light to rule the day, the sun, the lesser light to rule the night. That's the moon. Uh, and God set them in the firmament of the heaven to give light upon the earth and to rule over the day and over the night and to divide the light from darkness. And God saw that it was good. And the evening and the morning were the first, fourth day. So that's when he made all the planets and the stars and the sun and the moon, all that stuff, all that cool stuff. And God said, let the water spring forth abundantly, the moving creature that hath life and fowl that may fly above the earth in the open firmament of heaven. And God created great whales and every living creature that moveth, which the waters brought forth abundantly after their kind and every winged fowl after his kind. And God saw that it was good. That's he made all the fish and the water dwelling animals and all the birds on the let's see on the fifth day. All the birds and the fish were created. 
And God blessed them, saying, Be fruitful, and multiply, and fill the waters in the seas, and let fowl multiply in the earth. And the evening and the morning were the fifth day. So, there's all the water animals and all the birds. Fowl means birds. And God said, Let the earth bring forth the living creature after his kind, cattle and creeping thing, and beast of the earth after his kind. And it was so. And God made the beast of the earth after his kind, and cattle after their kind, and everything that creepeth upon the earth after his kind. And God saw that it was good. <clears throat> and God said, Let us make man in our image after our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air and over the cattle and over all the earth and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth so god created man in his own image in the image of god created he him male and female created he them so that's talking about he created all the other animals like let's see we've the dinosaurs were included in this too and, like, the cattle, they talked about the cattle a lot, um, horses, alligators, um, lions, all the other animals were created on that day, and so were humans, and that would be, where is my place, okay, and God blessed them, and God said unto them, be fruitful and multiply, and replenish the earth, and subdue it, and have dominion over the fish of the sea, I already read that, <laughs> So that's where God is telling us as humans to multiply and be fruitful and to have dominion over the birds and the fish and over the earth. And that means to use it for man's good, um, basically is what have dominion over it means. And God said, Behold, I have given you every herb-bearing seed which is upon the face of all the earth and every tree in which is the fruit of a tree yielding seed to you it shall be for meat so that means that all the trees the fruit on the trees that's for you to eat that's what that means he's telling the humans adam and eve with their names that all the fruit that he's put on the trees is for them to eat and to every beast of the earth and to every fowl in the air and to everything that creepeth upon the earth wherein there is life. I have given every green herb for meat, and it was so. So, in the beginning, um, they lived in a place called the Garden of Eden. It was a very beautiful place, and everything was perfect. Literally perfect. All the animals, no animals ate meat. Humans didn't eat meat. They all ate fruit and grass and plants and stuff like that, and you could walk right up to a lion and snuggle with it if you wanted and you didn't have to worry about getting bitten or scratched or anything everything was perfect and it talks in the bible a couple times i believe i'm not sure exactly where but it talks about um a lion laying down with a lamb so that was how things were back then um at the very beginning of creation all the animals they didn't eat each other like they do today there were no carnivores there were only everything was herbivores humans and animals alike and God saw everything that he had made, and behold, it was very good. In the evening and the morning were the sixth day. So here's the sixth day. So now we're into chapter 2 of Genesis, and I'm not going to talk about that today. I just want to talk a little more about creation. So that is how everything came to be. <laughs> um, God just created, he just spoke them into being. Um... All the animals, the light, the day, the sun, the moon, everything. It didn't evolve. And us humans, we did not evolve from monkeys. That's a very common um, false belief as well. Um, we were created uniquely in God's image. And although apes are intelligent and things like that, I mean, there's a lot of animals that are intelligent. Elephants, for instance. Um, that doesn't mean we came from them. We did not evolve from apes. We didn't. We just didn't. We were created uniquely, and humans... A lot of people think that humans are just very intelligent animals, which is also not true. We are unique from animals in many, many ways. Um, the ability to tell right from wrong. Animals don't really have that. Um, like, you can teach a dog, you know, not to chew on your shoes or stuff like that, but that, that's not that's not quite the same. They're not thinking in their head, oh, well, it might 
make my owner upset if I chew on their shoes, so I don't think I should. They don't have thoughts like that. They simply associate whatever punishment they receive for doing that with chewing on the shoes, and that makes them feel like chewing on the shoes is a bad thing, so it's very, very different. Um, language and speaking and thought is another thing. Animals do communicate with one another, but not in the same way humans do. We talk, we have conversations, we form sentences, intelligent thoughts, intelligent words. No animal does that. Um, so we, we're not animals, and our body is like God's temple. He created us in his image, and he didn't, he just, humans are special. Animals are also special, of course, because they're God's creation as well. But humans are very, very special. So, you know, we did not evolve. <laughs> we didn't, guys. Um, so, yeah, that... I'm trying to see how long I've been filming. Okay. Well, this video has been pretty long, <laughs> I see. So, um, if you guys have any questions or anything you would like me to go over in my next video, please let me know down below. I really, really hope that you enjoyed this, and I really hope that you will continue to come back for my devotionals in the future. And, um, you know, I'm just starting at the beginning, and we're going to kind of move through. And, um, you know, obviously I'm not going to read the whole Bible, because it's a very, very big book. But we are going to go over a lot of stuff, and so I really hope you enjoy it, and I hope you will come back for future videos like this. Um, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, guys. <laughs> um, have an awesome day. God bless you, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.